in a negative feedback loop, the reaction brings the condition back to a stabilised normal position. And this sort of feedback loop happens in the body all the time. For example, with thermoregulation, temperature of the body is set at 37 degrees. It's a hot day, the body temperature increases. So the reaction of the body is to sweat and get red in the face and that brings the temperature back down. So the reaction is uh, in the opposite direction to the stimulus and it brings it back to the normal condition and that's a stabilizing effect. Whereas a positive feedback loop is the opposite. Um, the reaction actually makes the condition worse because it also continues to increase that destabilizing effect and um, that's a positive feedback loop and it very rapidly spins out of control and gets worse and worse. And I want to explain how that happens uh, with global warming and there's a couple of factors. So here's our big blue planet and in the northern hemisphere is there's quite a lot of land. So this is our continents of, of Europe and, and North America and Asia. Um, quite high up in, um, in the areas of latitude towards the Arctic. It's very, very cold. And so there's, um, there's land that's actually been frozen for many hundreds and thousands of years. It's called permafrost. Now, so under this permafrost, there is, um, there's vegetation that has been sort of snap frozen since the last ice age. Now, as the global temperatures have increased, well, this permafrost is, defro is defrosting. And so I guess it's going, it, it's becoming, uh, moving higher and higher up. The part that's still under permanently frozen is moving higher and higher up. So this vegetation, you know, this low grasses, etc., is now being exposed for the first time in many, many years, in thousands of years. And so that grass, dead grass, is now being decomposed for the first time in thousands of years. Now, that process of decomposition, uh, the bacteria that decompose, well, they actually release carbon dioxide when they breathe out. So it's aerobic respiration. So they, they, they eat the, the grasses and they release carbon dioxide as they breathe out. So what happens, it's, it's a positive feedback loop because um, we've got a, a de increasing in temperature, we've got the defrosting, so we've got the um, bacteria decomposing, producing more carbon dioxide. Now, so what happens then is that increased carbon dioxide actually increases the temperature so that more of the permafrost melts. So therefore, more bacteria decompose more of the permafrost, releasing more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and increasing the temperature and releasing, uh, defrosting more permafrost, etc. Can you see how it just spins out of control? It's a positive feedback loop. Now, I'm sure you know that the Arctic and certainly the Antarctic is, uh, has got a nice healthy amount of ice, white, reflective ice. Now, this is important because what happens with this ice is it actually reflects sunlight and stops the sunlight from heating up the earth so much. And that process is called albedo. So that's the reflection of ice. Now, we've got another positive feedback loop because as the temperature of the earth gets hotter, well, more of that ice melts. And so therefore, less of the ice is available to reflect the sunlight. Therefore, the temperature of the earth gets warmer, which, uh, which defrosts uh, or melts more of this ice. So there's less ice to reflect the sunlight. So the earth gets warmer, which melts more ice. And you get the idea, it just continues on in this positive feedback loop and gets worse and worse.